Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Imperato Rome and Victor Saba, you know, Lord Master Channel, in which, uh, in the previous episode, as I basically got back into the groove of things, and of trying to, you know, get us this game again after a bit of an absence, <laughs> even though it was only like a week long or so. And, um, and we fought a series of what I would call small wars, which is how I would use that term where we're against a entity or or even an entity which we of uh, which holds territories that we want. But we just wanted to have wars that are not too long, but of an acceptable length. Get the war goals and then you win. Okay, governor of Flint. You threaten civil war against me, as you are in Egypt, as you have this amount of, you know, governor's size. We ought to take care of that, right away. And also, we have too many relations, as we have so many damn, you know, vassals subjects, if you will. We're about to, you know, exceed that limit again. I'm looking. So the next thing we ought to get, uh, for whenever this is next invasion, it's going to come in a couple of years. Get this for the diplomatic relations part, knowing that I plan on getting another one. And then at some point, uh, it would be nice to go down this way to get another diplomatic relations. You know there is another way, and that's requiring the change of um, stance. Or well, you could get that up as well. Hmm. Hey. We plan on fighting a war against Kush. Which I told them to get over there recently. And I have a feeling I may do the same for you. Used up all the slots, with the exception of Greece, so there's, there's no reason to do that. But there is one entity that I want to bring in. Because they are defenseless. So we'll bring you in. Come into the fold. Because I'm going to make you a client state as well. Although you're going to be a lot harder to please. Because of the border distance, yes. Perhaps we'll come to an understanding in the future. Especially whenever I'm going to get my diplomatic reputation up more and such. Yes, I'm way over the diplomatic limit, but we be fine. It's just as long as I have a sphere of influence over the lands of Egypt. Migrant Horde. 
galaxy. They moved there. Take it to Civil War Samad Civil War. So what's the naval range in regards to it's like yes we can go in but unfortunately going up the Nile not recommended we can at least put our navy as far as up there and um, I mean Kush doesn't have any coastal ports do they yes they do just one And I guess they took care of what was left of uh, Blemia, which is gone now. Yeah. Kush only has one port. And they do have a navy. And it's their only one. I originally assumed they have ports there, but they do not have ports on the Nile, so... There's no reason to have that navy there. But we'll... Put our fleet over there. The main fleet. Actually, it's a lot more convenient to place in there. And yes, I'm aware that <laughs> we've really upped the. Um, it's like, yes, we have a supply element. It's, it's a plenty. But we can always split in half for this oversized legion of ours. nothing I could do with that oversized legion other than give it some grain and see if you can encourage trade every little bit helps which is again it's a land where there's no food and it requires to be imported Dedan will be referred to as starvation province I'm gonna be more corrupt if need be. Yeah, go ahead. You need that good enough political influence for me to get by. Scandal! Let me see. You lose your position of government, Lester. Except the problem is you're the only one who's good at it. So, you're fired and not fired. Hate it when that happens. <laughs> That reminds me in regards to Civil War. Carthage. They actually wanted to take this. Not that. Because I'm looking at the disloyalty and wondering, okay, who should we mess with to inspire disloyalty here? So 
Large as well to use twenty. And then twenty five. Let's do it. I'll take the aggressive expansion hit, then I'll go down with time since we're not starting any wars yet. Check back on that in a moment. Not enough, but it's a start. At least they have not bribed the man. Oh, he was bribed. But other factors are at play here. So he was bribed right before I um, have this all to inspire to him. Well, basically, he's the second most powerful man of this uh, realm. Stir up some things. And you know, for future reference, this is going to add more aggressive expansion for that. Eastern Delta. keep making fabricating claims on all the deltas of the Ptolemy Kingdom. Knowing the rest of us we have a claim to it. Ain't nothing wrong with being good natured that I'll be. Cause that just gives you more friends and subjects will be more loyal to you. Very useful. Gotta get that for my children. Right now that you're right. If you start doing as well. Civil war potential averted for that is here. You know, I could easily just take all of these entities without them stirring up trouble. Because they're busy. How much left would you take it in the vault? Like, what if we just take advantage of that situation right now? And finally, you know, mop up the rest of of the Arabia. There's a road there, so head there. And you know what I'm Watching them move up between the two. We can take care of all this while you guys continue to drill. And in the meantime, should give them cultural assimilation to each and every one of them. Especially those that's kept their loyalty up. At least that's starting to turn our way. You can stop with that now. I just want to see Sabians everywhere. That's my idea. Your food situation is good.
large swathe of Serbian. are still the majority down there. But with time. Which again, this is going to become a metropolis one day. If you wish to upgrade that, that's going to cost you 400 and 100 political influence for that. Might as well do that for points proper. This is still a team, which is a people that we used to um, that we used to integrate with, but we got but we demoted that and said this should become savvy now. About time. to risk to start a war um, against us here while these are up there so I think we should fight another small war before we start the war with Kushan. You're going to be stationed over there just to keep them at bay. To Gaza. Speaking of which, um, Gaza. Not going anywhere. Well, to be quite honest. We need to get rid of the Macedonian culture and have more Sabian, more of our population. He was a researcher. I know it's not as good, but look. Possibility of an innovation. A free innovation while the progress will be slowed. Hopefully you get lucky. The head of the bucket family. This law to inspire uh huh. Someone's trying to stir things up against me. I'll give you this. Only because you have the statesmanship. Oh, that was my consort. So many old heads are dying off. Your family's gonna be a lot more prominent than it seems. Regardless of age, just need someone who can cover my lack of martial and that's my sister. No, 
no, no, that's different. Uh, that's Somrat. This is Vyanat. Misread the names. Having a higher marshal just means higher morale for your armies. It's a way to compliment that. But don't you think it deserves to have that? But who am I kidding? He's got Mantakara. Trusting is missing. Go ahead. It's an unlikely proposal. Most of the I job built some of this domestic gate. After far too long alone, it was only like a few days, he decided to extend the offer to marriage to the charming young woman, um, Sopiana. Oh, they have a dynasty. The envoy reports that the proposal was flattering and evoked a great deal of amusement from Sopiana and her companions, who made no effort to conceal the contempt regarding the advanced age of Shahabu. We have to consider yielding a sizable dowry. This is, if he is to find love at such a distant gap of age and experience. Go ahead. Cunning, but well, let's go with this path. And since you are epileptic and you may not have a long life to, um, to live, I suggest that you get married as well. But... Uh, Pay special attention to the age. Even though the problem with that is that I married the youngest woman I that was available. Whereas you have her who is all the sister. Obviously, I'm not go figure. Let's do that. <laughs> yeah. At the far too long I'll set off in marriage to the fabulous young woman, uh, Mama Nut. The end of a young woman almost soon that soon news. Maybe that uh, you are an ideal match. Well, let's arrange the festivities then. Let's just hope we have at least one or two children. Well, that's up to you. Where's you already have a child? You're married to an Egyptian woman. Again, I can't be that corrupt anymore. So it's a slap on the wrist, I suffice. But thanks for the thought. Send him a gift. Uh, we could get them in as a client state, it'll take a while though. Not if I befriend a man. If there is going to be a rebellion down there, well, at least we're going to try to kill off some pops if that's going to be the case. 
sub uh, received a report from Mariaba. The Fort Chisna province was damaged by a minor earthquake and a large sanction wall is crumbled. Because our garrison troops have their hands full trying to repair the damage, they are unable to complete their normal work and the province is beginning to get restless. Spend the money now in favor of repairs. And you know, having this as a local owner, it's your capital province you can never rebel, so there's no need to pay for that. But they'll fix it over time. Unrest will never go down because this is a, a capital province which will always be loyal, so there's no point of throwing money at a I don't know at a solvable problem. to defend up this part. There's another one you should do. Send our transport fleet to to the Adan. Because this one is just a cover our tail in Gara. Time to start drilling. Jumped up. You're the pretender? I anointed him. Oh, hey. Now, why is that? Because he said, yes, he's a primary heir. But it's he who should be the primary heir. And this one is not as good. And I understand he's the elder. I wish there are ways that I could disinherit him, but smearing is just population reduction. Population reduction. Popularity reduction. Imagine it, smearing my own son. To say, no, this person's terrible. You know, go ahead and do that. Your reduction tyranny is pretty good. So, look, my son is not a good person. I mean, yes, he's nice and modern and such, but this is a far better candidate here. Powerful realms that you're going 
to fight against. Konos is busy intervening somebody else's war. Stability up for once. The forever civil war of the Roman Revolt. Family married to ruler family. Not a reason for the loyalty increased. But it's very unstable right now. So where's that? We're not quite there yet. In meantime, continue to fabricate claims. Now the central belt. Oh, the phone. Possible civil war in the Ptolemaic Kingdom. And there's a little rebellion going up, going on up there. Citizens euphoric. <laughs> Well, I don't keep it for once. He was one of the good ones. Put him there. Him there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Again, considering, you know, the freedom from our guests. A large group of freemen have left the settlement of our guests, huh? Barbaria. In Memnonia, to come settle down our settlement of Asara Hadramun. Hadramun of Ras. Though more manpower could do us good, the men and women in Memnonia are known for their wild antics and could cause issues. We should make sure that we can handle the new settlers if we are to accept their wish in Asara Hadramun. Send them back over there. Sometimes wish I abdicated right now and, and have him be the heir. But nevertheless, he's one of the good lads right now. And I think it would be most wise to um, befriend my son right now. But you can't do that again until um, your legitimacy is back up to 90, which will occur in due time. Unless you want to. Well, there's that. No harm in that. get up to 90 then do that again because I thought about this how about you know we name him heir and then I will retire yes and then I will retire and then it could be you know it's like yes that means he'll lose Position and command, but still, it's just you know, something happened. Already, you have a child. 
That didn't take long. Despite the fact that you're epileptic. Still, I gotta make that man the heir. It's gonna happen, like it or not. I'll befriend him while we're at it. Look, I'm contemplating a war against Lazia, but at the same time, I want to fight against Kush. Awful lot of tyranny lately. character he was never a prominent family or whatever. Crud. We got someone who's terrible at the job. So all the good spots are taken. If you give it to that man who is a Cretan and a Hellenic, not a good choice. You'd rather have someone who is going to be loyal. You would be beneficial to the state. But the finesse part, I thought it may or may be an issue, but probably not. No, no, no. Continue with the cultural assimilation. Especially with areas of larger provinces. Now cut it out, you're gonna have too much tyranny. To try to change everything. Inspired the salt to here. Spurned. Alright. With the recent passing of the wolf, I mean, we had this event before. So, give him that. Sometimes wish it would be my wealth. Oh no, they're all ready. Do you even know where the capital is? These two either. Their capital is actually over there. No, oh, thank you. So that's the capital thing. Landlocked.
there could be no cultural assimilation because of you know, policies. But this is when it fills here is the exception. Because it's full of Macedonians and won't it? Get rid of that. Converting them to the Arabic faith would be fine. It's nothing's changed right now. But I would love to make more investments to try to, you know, build more ports, build a shipyard. One more claim to fabricate. Western Delta, which includes the area of Alexandria. Five military experience earned each time we call upon Kilabak. like to know who's the governor of Arabia because if there was someone that I would like to inspire this loyalty to it would be that one so that way when a revolt starts I can grab all of it with ease yeah that sounds like a good idea because it seems um What's going on over there? Carthage? Well, actually, don't let go of the inspired this world just yet. This is a new person. It's back to being the soul again. And there are others. He was dismissed of murder. For Hiram, the party leader of the oligarchs. Someone else did the soldiers part, that wasn't me. Always with that place of the province of Alash, but there will be a day that we will control the board, including Alash. But that place never gets the credit it deserves. Statue of myself. That looks nothing like me. Rip it down. The improved relations thing ended. Oh, just short of it. Just short of it. You know what? Send him another gift again. There you go. Now we just have to wait one month, and then the Eastern Desert is in. Crisis in Upper Egypt. But keep that well in mind. They're not going to rebel or do anything silly, because we have them in our sphere of influence, so they can't do a thing. Come along with us. Egypt is mine.
one would think. Sparta has started a war. with the Tuganid Kingdom. The Tuganid is fighting against the Spartans. This is a Hellenic war. Yes, they are fighting against so many kingdom in addition to the Tuganids. And what is Kornaus involved? Uh, Kornaus is fighting against the Antigonid, which was formerly an ally to them. And Lalasia. Well, they're practically busy at this time. Samad already took care of that civil war issue. I guess this presents our opportunity right now. Deploy our army to um, Gerha just to keep them at bay. Might be of a possible use one day, but probably not because of Parthia is breathing down on your neck. That one day you're gonna get conquered by it. So we we can finally take these enclaves of Arabia, then all of Arabia will be mine. I think that's a good idea, harsh treatment. Just in case that we don't have more of those, while we continue to build our wonder, which is still expected to be finished, um, which is we're halfway done now. Until uh, 11 years, will be finished. It all depends on the number of freemen and slaves to go along with that work. Now remember, once this is complete. All these benefits it'll give us. I forgot to build something down there. Ever since we made some investments. This is going to be the granary area. That's just to help with the food storage. As you know, the growth is going to continue.
may not have much time left, but damn it, you are going to be the heir soon, which I'll get it up there by then. Stability up. Go through a stone to do it. Don't fabricate anymore. Alright, we're stationed here. There is no... Alright, that's where we put all those things that benefits the local manpower there. This is to be used as a deterrent to keep some out of the way. Whilst we're going to start this quick war, as you know, Konaus is fighting against the Antigonids. It's the Antigonids, right? You know, it's Konaus. Which is again, it's started by them. Which they're allied with, you know, Gammon, Antigone, Ptolemy, may have a possible civil war in their hands against Sparta. Sparta is against many, including of its subjects that belongs to certain entities. Connor else is allied with Sparta, so they had to, so they were divided between, you know, who do we ally with? They decide to side with Sparta rather than the Antigone. This is why we Arabs don't get involved in Greek affairs. None of that. We're more localized than that. But again, our army stations there. And the job of the Navy is to keep them away. And it said this will be an easy affair. All we need to do is just take this small objective and then we win. It's a simple task for a simple man like myself. Alrighty. We don't need to fight against them. The main objective is shall be Arabia Maritime. Down there. Get it from somewhere else. Get in there. Get in there. They pop up over there. They got one hell of a leader, but they're outclassed. No chance at all. These are forces Samad, they're not moving. Hunt them down. You're on standby. It's been suggested uh, to Sahabil that Arabia could make more money if we pursue the sales of incense. Where everyone loves needs for, and needs for religious purposes, we have bushes uh, that are local to our region and produce a sweet smelling tat. Now, when the flowers are joined, prepared to make a Compared to a property, it smells quite delightful. We should undertake a massive initiative to start growing incense bushes. We have hopes for sale. This is part of uh, the done. Replace leather for incense. 
<laughs> I mean, sure, there's value in selling more incense than leather. So yeah, go ahead, we shall do that. Even though this kind of goes against it. Just take the objective of the war, then you win. Simple. While they keep busy. Give me the damn territories. I want it. But you need to get the war score up to 10. Which in this case, we're gonna have to go up there and beat Samad. Split. Take along here. At least these two forts here is like if there was ever a war against Parthia. These two forces would be the uh, obstacle that they would try to go for. Unless they're insane and decide to go over here. Build that has another obstacle. In case of Parthian aggression. Having two forts sounds ideal. forts. So level 2 fort again. Uh, see man of future. In case of Parthian aggression against Arabia, like if they want to go through this, you know they're going to take attrition. And then they're going to take more attrition during a siege over there. And then have to go through another. And then another. And another. <laughs> I can envision that. Unless they're smart and decide to go this way. Despite the fact it's all the mines there. But that's what these are for. Like if they want to go through that, they need to take this. Well, I would much prefer to build a fortress over the hills, but you know we like to make money. These two are just basically obstacles for them to take.
Ich habe mal nachgedacht. Get rid of the form and give an aqueduct. Just increase population capacity. It's just what it needs. And we're only doing this because we just want to increase the war score to 10 because we're not here to draw out into a long war. We don't want that. more of these. Nobody's attacked our shores yet. Hold it right there. I just remembered something. As I'm in poor health. Why? Not him. Does not have heir apparent. Made you heir apparent. Oh dear, oh dear. And this is the son of. Let's get this Terry at the moment. And this. Is Reva, son of a uh, who is energetic. Why do you support him? I wish I could disinherit him. Died in childbirth? Yeah, died during childbirth. I am possibly considering... It's like, okay, what's the best way to disinherit someone? And I have a feeling that I'm going to do something that I may regret for the rest of my life. Well, the remainder of my life. Huh? You're an old general. You're a rice hole. If you want to bring him to trial, well, he's not that corrupt. And if you'll convict him, you're going to start a civil war. And I like, because he's my very heir. But I would much prefer to be him. Also, just want to look at this real quick. That's a claim. That's the province of Axel, we already have that. But hey, it helps to potentially increase or decrease salty. Oh, blast, 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 blast. And if you decide to anoint this one, then um, that one's got dysentery. I'm at my wit's end here. And you got a person sailing who's not expected to have a long life rule. Oh my god.
remember, anointing just gives you, you know, a thousand plus in value. Yeah, apparently that's just another thousand. I was about to say, where'd you get that high finesse for a three-year-old? You might have potential after all. I'm trying to think, okay. Parthia made the Salviero revolt a client state as Zhang Zhuang, uh, Zhang Zhuang took some of that. And it looks like hey, Moria's making a comeback despite it being the decline. And they still have rebellions to take care of. Well, I wouldn't say they're making a comeback as much as they're struggling, because remember, Parthia beat Moria, I believe. If no one can beat Parthia, then... Such a... I'm having my own damn personal crisis here! Ongoing rebellion in parts of Carthage. These are like romantic people. And then... Yeah. That's good to know. I need to think long and hard about this. I got cancer. I got long to live, as I've always been depressed throughout my life. But there's only one thing to do in order to solve this succession crisis that I'm having. Because I wanted it to be him. And you know, I've come to the realization that he would make very little impact. I've only been around in thanks to the good work of the physician who's been around for a long while too. You know he has arthritis. Which isn't treatable. Well that's only if he was a physician or something. But at least that kept him healthy. He's a sarcastic bastard too. But the thing is, um the reason I lived long is because of the we had a damn good physician. And I don't want him to be the next ruler because he's bad at everything. And I would prefer it to be him if, um, since he would be a damn good general. Which he is, but making him the next ruler would take away his ability to run an army unless he's, uh, unless he's part of the Levy of Arabia Felix. And, and then there's his son, who is way down that line. And yet take away the heir uh, apparent thing from him. And the only way to knock him off of there... ...is to disinherit him by, by a completely different mean. So I'm going to make two moves here. This is the son of... Uh, this is... Um, uh, Rabia. Uh, Rabia. Is that how you say his name? Because he's got a high uh, uh, finesse for a child. Five already. For a three-year-old. And remember, we once had a very great ruler who started at a very young age. So perhaps there's potential in that. So it's something I'm willing to gamble on. 
Although he may not like the option, but friend of rival ruler is another reason why um, I try to befriend him, and he says no, thank you. So I'm gonna anoint him as hair. I'm willing to take that risk. So first child was the third son of ruler. Even though that gives him more of that. So it's decided to nominate a mere child as co-ruler for success, but hard to stomach for some political guarantees of the country. Corey's ceremony has gone off on a hitch, but there is dissent brewing around the rich and mighty in Arabia. This is for the best. Now, I gotta get rid of you. But just to show you, state law to us. And I'll smear your reputation again. Just to say, no, nobody likes you. And you know we have anti-corruption policies. We're well, gonna do something stupid. Reduce the wages. Which gives us quite a bit of income, but it's going to make everybody corrupt. Because there will be, because there will be some increased corruption around here, especially against him. Every little bit helps to have an increased chance of success. And his tyranny would skyrocket. But in the meantime, continue with the war. Just waiting for the war score to tick up to 10, then we can get our small gains. This is why the war against Kush has been delayed. It's because of things like this. This may sound silly, but I'm not paying them wages. Such does that mean? Yep, it means you're going to get a bit of corruption too, because of reduced wages. So you are an energetic old boy. But why do I have a feeling I'm going to get this? But keep in mind, you can't do that to. Have a so you can't imprison because of pretenders. So it's dysentery. You can't put them on trial because that's for adults. That's what I gotta do. Get them in prison and banish it rather than execute because that would not look good in the eyes of the country. That'd make me a sadist. Hey, hold on. I wish I could grant you holdings. That'll make you more corrupt. Every little bit helps. So I'm keeping an eye on my health. Unless you want to assassinate somebody, but that's even more tyranny and some aggressive expansion. You can only do it against rivals. And plus, it takes time, and we got that time. I got cancer. Assassination scheme would not do. Now, anyways, terrible news from Mariba. Since one of the stable hands forgot to close the gate before falling asleep, and when the idiot woke up, 
Every single horse on the farm had escaped. There's no doubt that the animals have made it to the Badlands at this point. A total loss. We have to catch a few. Get out of there! By the way, since you are assassinating somebody, how long does it take for an assassination? In fact, chances of. You know, just wondering how that works. Part is okay. Slower Jexar tail. Okay. Breakthrough. Yes. Okay. Oh, anyway, so. Savian nobles will appear. Because we want these. Nobles will appear. Unlocks the ability to force the divorce of characters outside of one of your family. And characters will be a little more loyal to me. Because of that jumped up population we just had. Damn! We do have contract with Bactria, but it's temporary. Now, end this war. You say no because we're demanding substantial land. But these are the territories that we wanted. Continues. Hunt him down. Yet now. Um, I don't ask for much, but uh, do you mind? You'll say no, because competing power. Well, I've improved relations with you in the past, so I don't mind improving relations with you some more. Stay where you are. Very poor health. So that means if I get rid of him, he's the primary heir and not him. Have I made a mistake? One would think. <laughs> so, like, if I were to view it as a rival, and if you want to assassinate somebody, can you imagine assassinating your own flesh and blood? And don't you know that assassination takes time and you're not going to have that much time to do so? And even if you were to conduct that, but you just jumped that up right now, <laughs> the chances of success would be 52 percent.
We'll put him on trial soon. Time to go. Even if you do it all right, you're still an off chance that um, something could go terribly right or terribly wrong. And you're going to have the highest amount of tyranny that this country has. Parts, but they say no because we're demanding substantial land. This is land that is in Arabia and we have every right to it. What more could you ask for? So you're willing to give me this, and yet you don't want me to have that. And Icaros to Arabia, where is that? I don't want that. What part of it you don't you understand? You only want these territories. There are ways to reduce it, but We'll take our sweet time with it while I'm trying to figure out how to solve this ridiculous succession crisis. Oh. You're practically screened. But at least I have my popularity. Slightly reduced tyranny. And soon we're gonna get the good stuff. It's coming. I'm waiting for the health to be near death, then we can begin the trial of my eldest son. One more month. We got the lands that we wanted. Now it looks much better, except for that tiny little hole there. Which all you need to do is move a couple of Sabian pops over there, and then you got it. So move a couple. be good enough and you got it Arabia is mine <laughs> yeah it's just uninhabitable definitely look good on a map well in the meanwhile 
withdrawal. Get back to your post. All the way down, cuts. In morning. So you're ailing because you're in mourning. All another reason why we gotta get rid of you. Because I don't want an heir who's in mourning. And you know they're gonna move you up. Whereas I prefer this. may have pretenders support, actually there is none, and we know that pretenders would want this, and I want it too, but I realize it's kind of unrealistic and also possibly a bit dangerous, because you've got someone who's epileptic and anything could go wrong, may will. Despite the benefits. Especially to someone who's energetic. Oh man. The worst. Forty five percent chance. Again, we're only increasing the corruption just to make my son a bit more corrupt. Now we can put him on trial for that. As a way of possibly getting rid of him. This war, huh? This all team inspired. Fair enough. Parthia got their province back. No doubt. I could have done the assassin spot a little bit earlier. And even if you did, it would have been a 50 50 shot. Falling ill, inflammation, that doesn't do much. You're still going down anyway. I'm not going to give you any treatment. They don't deserve it. Look, look at the forces of the Egyptian army that will be with us in the future war against the Ptolemaic Kingdom when the chance is given. Whenever the day that part there breaks down into a civil war. Thank you for the integrated cultural happiness. That makes me smile a bit. I'm keeping an eye on my health. Just waiting for it till it says near death, then I will start the trial against my primary air. And also it's not wise to have corrupt governors. 
while you have lowered your wages. I was going to retire, but I realized that something happened. comes not from well, but from within. A constant fighting over to name themselves there can consume countless resources and lives. The spies are court to assert that Alan Saga remains a no secret of his ambitions for the throne. His part ensure his future by doing away with the competition. We should keep a watchful eye on him. Nonsense, we should put more faith in our subjects. Circuit senses to change quick and everything points. Say it appears that plotting is no longer necessary until now. I'm just abiding my time. Assassinate, which is a 50 50 chance, and put Pierre on trial, get rid of him, and hope for the gods that we will have a proper end, even if it's a child end. At least it's someone in office, so put it in. You could get rid of him too, but do we really have time to do trials for kids? I mean, if we just knock down the whole line of succession and put, you know, all that behind him, but I don't know, you're gonna be one screwed up person to do all this. That can only be guaranteed if the assassination is a success. Fifty, remember. Assassination successful. We've been informed that Oopsie Isaac was found brutally murdered in his home just last night. He was eight. The investigators reported a horn sword was used in a crime, a device known to be feared by Shahabil. However, we have no hard evidence to think of a crime. Regardless, we should be watchful. Nothing to see here. He was a pretender. Son of the Rasa and grandchild of him. Yeah, killed them off. And, um, so all we need to do is put him on trial, make him guilty as charged, 
and after we knock him out of this line of succession, that we could finally have a problem there, in which I will have to tell them the demand of civil allegiance so everybody can just be on that side. Because this child has a future. This man does not, because he's an epileptic. He's last. But still, he would appreciate if the son of his would be ruling, and then he would be his guardian. He would be the one to protect the nation, to the close nations and such. So I think that may work out here. Now, what the second? Uh, ah, I thought I was going to sneeze. Anyways, look at him. He's corrupt. Free hands, reduced wages. This calls for a trial. The atmosphere is dark in the court as Dharma Zaragi, the accused, is brought head hanging before the Mali. Dharma, the author of several tactical treaties, has finally gone one step too far. Keen to expedite the trial, the examiner formally addresses Malik Shah, asking what crime he stands accused of. Does it matter? Shah is Malik! This is available due to having a monarchy current form, which adds even more tyranny than it already has. This will increase our success chance by a large amount. As the hours draw on, members of the court finally begin to grow weary with the constant questioning, Vatarol and drama. Dharma finally takes the floor, waxing lyrical on the subject of eternal loyalty to Arabia. As Dharma speaks, a curious smile creases his face. It seems Walsh draw up the details of the accusation. Our examiners have neglected to check the whereabouts of Dharma on the eve of his supposed criminal activity, when he was in fact visiting Ionia on a diplomatic mission. 68% chance that we have none. So I'll just say, let it be known that the Ionian people are all liars. During a dull and frankly amateurish defense, Dharma works himself to quite a tricky situation. We remain unsure quite how. But rather than professing innocence, Dharma sees him stinkily assume that he was acting on the behalf of the prosecution and accused himself of a wide variety of crimes. Now it be, might be a good chance to push in the advantage. Insisting a few favors, turn this into a win. Court falls to every sign as the magistrate clears his throat and falls as the pipes over the re voice finds Dharama Hazaragi guilty of all charges. The entire building shakes with uproar of all present. The court's guard sees Dharama and march him away to the dungeon. His fate is ours to decide now. Success! So I gained my popularity for this. And so he's knocked out of the line of succession. But I don't have the political influence to get them what I need. Ah, blast. I did what I can. Scorn family, yes, I understand. And all the pretenders are with you. But you should be glad that your son is going to be the ruler. And you're going to be loyal to him no matter what. Just remain in prison for a while. And I'll pay you for your treatment. Of course. Being in a dungeon does all help to you, but I'm aware. We only did this because this is some shit this. Okay, the supporters are with him. Uh, this is not what I want, but well, I tried. He was the original primary heir anyway. So, take what you can get. Oh, and, um, 
increase the wages. Apparently increases the wages makes that balance go way down. So okay, keep it at normal. The corruption will go away slowly with time. But do not let him out of prison. Fruits. It's for more tier characters. Last Arabian tradition. Death by a thousand scorpion stings. So we'll have a character of exceptionally high martial coming in. And when active, the army weight modifier will be reduced greatly, which will benefit our larger armies. Hostile attrition increased, which will make invading armies think twice about crossing our territory. And our archers' morale will go up a bit so they can last long in a fight. There's this saying, if the sun does not kill you, and the heat does not kill you, and hunger does not kill you, and thirst does not kill you, and hyenas do not kill you, and scorpions do not kill you, then we surely will. Now who is this man with an exception on monster skill that's coming in to serve uh, one of our legions? This man, the Cretan Hellenic, crud, not of our culture nor faith, but he is tough, and he's steadfast. So he could be good at either the army or navy. But if I were you, pick, get him in a navy. You have too much. So he's the admiral now. So he'll be the admiral of our great fleet uh, for future wars against the the navies of the Ptolemaic and Carthaginian, which there might be a civil war. Question mark. This presents an opportunity. Well, Guy had plans to go to Kush, but the lands of Syria and the Egyptian Delta seems pretty attractive right now. Hmm. Sounds like a plan. because with that number of population, as we look at the population map mode, that is where the power lies. That's where the power is. Take them away from that, then, then the rest of them... Uh... I mean, they do have numerous populations up there too, but we'll never go up there. But let's end the episode with with the death of Shahabil. Because I did what I can. I did what I could. He's the third child of ruler. He's the pretender. And he's primary heir right now. Go ahead and place stock stockpile. You got a sister. Now let's just slowly get rid of the corruption of this country. And now this country is going to be ruled by, at least he's a younger man, but his epilepsy um, that is going to be an issue. Unless I want to send him off to foreign lands, there's that final option. Increases master skill more. 
Would that knock him off of succession while he is away? Leaving the country, yeah, it would. And I did say I want him to be the primary. I try to make him as such. He's energetic. Still got plenty more years to build. How do you feel about sending off eventually? So, so he'll leave to become a mercenary. He will return when he feels he has nothing left to learn. I'm sorry to do this to him, but that's just a way to get him off of succession. So we can finally make room for Rabia. I was on a verge, I'm just saying, you know what, I'm accepting it until I saw that sent the venturing option. Oh man, we are one scorned family. <laughs> Damned. So he's gonna live a mercenary life for a while, and when he returns, breakthrough. Okay. Ah, yes, the diplomatic reputation for it to go up. Which, after all, we have this many people with these great innovations. So, Might of Majesty. Before you hit that, Might of Majesty. That is this. Legitimacy, noble happiness. If. Get one more of that, then you got all the diplomatic reputation you need. Now, what is this thing that's called um, prescribed canon? I believe that's religious innovation. There it is. You're not that far from it. Conversion policy laws. Desecrating temples now restore tense building. That sounds like a <laughs> After all, you do want cultural simulation. That's what you've been wanting, guys, alright? But conversion policies, faster cultural or religious conversions, whenever you need it. Sounds like an idea. Six months. Hey, pick up the pace. I'm gonna need you to uh, son out there and he has his loyal cohorts um, he took some of that with him so the uh, second army of Arabian Felix well that is it <laughs> this is the one it's just um... ah there you are Well, he just took some of that away from us. 
but I believe you'll compensate by using Vassal Swarm against him. So, yeah, uh, come on up here. And you, get over here. Sail over. Carthage might be on a verge of civil war. Which means while they continue to beat each other up, we will swoop in and take advantage and take as about as much land from the Ptolemaic Kingdom as human like possible. And you know what? Give me one more claim. There. Which is In due time. So get the stepping. Possible civil war. I'm gonna be happy as heck if this will be the case. Which could mean nobody's gonna help them out than yourselves. Tommy Kidman ain't gonna help you. Aha! Let me invite you in. Change your name. We'll put you in here. Be one of the researchers. Well, I'll be very corrupt when I'm dead. So, there you go. And just to make damn sure, ah, uh, don't worry about it. These are just governors. Always with the unruly governors. What I did may not be considered right, but perhaps it's for the best. Just want to check the population real quick. Because, you know, there's going to be that day. Uh, get the stones, 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 stones. Here it is. Um, because there will be a day where, um, Gonna turn it down to a metropolis. Shame of a governor. Well, I'm about to die anyway. The popularity doesn't matter to me anymore. The commoners are not our problem. I have to rebuild this army. But get in position first. Carthage is in revolt. Yes. Well, remember, if you declare war, Carthage. Uh, we'll take over as war leader, as it considers themselves stronger. No additional defenders. And also, you're against all these other entities, if you wish to. Not impressive, but we did our job. Who was this man that was supposed to inspire this loyalty to? That I could stop? I forget the man's name. He was from the uh, oligarchs. 
Well, actually, he would be on the other side now, would he? Weren't you that man? Yeah, I believe that was my gun. That was that man. So that'll keep him busy. Even though it's in its early stages of the revolt. There are no risks of civil war. Again, I will end the episode as soon as the monarch dies. Because, man, what a life he's lived. Did some questionable decisions. I was trying to treat for your information. I was trying to be nice to you. So let me give you a try again. Oh, so I threw that money at you for nothing. Well, just wait. I'll pass. And I and the next ruler might let you out of here. Might release you from a prison. And we'll start making things up to you. Hasn't picked up another trait yet. You got charisma, I'll give you that. <laughs> since our since I previously joked that our dynasty is known to be dour. Recent instability caused by the deficit of bills has created a power vacuum with certain scream pretenders uh, all too eager to fill. Emboldened by avarice, they've raised hordes of malcontents and plot against the throne itself. We must look to the future of our nation and safeguard Arabia through perilous times. The Sabarat has gained up to 29 loyal veterans in her stead. Our stability had not only dropped due to the recent death of our ruler, but we just dropped big time. And, and we know there's tyranny, and there's a danger of that. How dare she? Seven-year-old Malik. Died of cancer, not dysentery. Let's keep that for a record. But however, she's in very poor health. Because nobody bothered the traitor. And I think we should just let it be. I guess we can end this episode on a note of, oh gods, what have I done? <laughs> just need one more scorned family member, but... I think the only way to do that is, um, so, yeah, brought to trial, unfair succession, yes, revoked free hands. I don't think imprisonment brings all to down. But well, you still got a few things that I can help. And use the spoon. That'll increase your zeal. To 
to help you out a bit. Oh. And, uh, where are you? Your sister. You said you got law veterans. But I don't see it on the map, so you're probably just all talk. So now we have negative stability. Unpopular ruler. Can I do all these things that can increase the popularity? Because I'm a child ruler. But you could do this. Just to help save off of it. And there is some corruption, but it will slowly be rid of. Give it time. And of course, meanwhile, the Carthage Interval will be ongoing as it's it's in its infancy. Give it time. And also gonna have to start rebuilding the Legion Arabia Felix as we need to fix this composition and all that and more in the next episode but until then so long for now